Hello, my name is Andrei Osachuk. I help companies to get value from their investments in Adobe Analytics. I am an Adobe certified expert with nine years experience and provide consulting, implementation, data analysis and training services. The subject of this video is why you may not need to track site subsections in Adobe Analytics. Let's get started. I will continue with the audit of the audio website and we will take a look at one of the requests to Adobe Analytics collection server from this particular page of the German version. And take a look at these three props C8, C9, C10 and you can recognize that it's likely that these three prop variables are used to collect uh, subsections or hierarchy of the website since Neuwagen A1 this is the page dedicated to A1 car model then we have A1 sport bag which is a let's say uh, option for this model and then finally I landed to the page about uh, linen pakete I presume this is like something like standard package or offer and um, what we can see here is that basically there are three variables used and it seems to me that this is exactly for site sections like this is site section c9 is used for site subsection level 1 and c10 or prop 10 is used for site subsections number or level 2 um, and this is probably not the good idea to store all of that. It was a best practice probably eight years ago, but for the moment I would advise to store just the full value, the value that we have, for example, in the variable C10, and then apply classification to that variable. And by doing this, you can break down the value into many different values for example you may apply a classification and get one report for uh, level neue wagen uh, the second level or subsection for a1 the third level for a1 sport bag the first the fourth level for linen pakete or even linen pakete and everything that is afterwards you can also combine those levels for example, you can uh, set a report that will merge together A1 sport bag with linen pakete. Or you can set another report of classification in our case, which will give you a value of Neuwagen A1 sport bag. So this is much more flexible way. And instead of sending many different variables, it's much easier to send one wearable with the full value and then apply classification on the back end of Adobe Analytics. This is my advice. I really want to hear your feedback. If you have comments, please leave them under this video. And thanks for watching.